Hey, do you want to learn how to mix down a stereo track to mono and to convert a mono track to stereo in Audacity? Well, stick around because that's the topic in this video. Hey, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to talk about mixing down stereo tracks to mono and converting mono tracks to stereo. Most people are aware that you can mix down a stereo track to mono in Audacity. It's pretty simple to do. But not everyone's aware that you can convert a mono channel to stereo within Audacity. So let's take a look at that in this video. This video is actually lecture 47 in my Udemy course on Audacity Bootcamp. It's one of the free previews there, and so I brought it over here to showcase it for you, to let you know that it's there, and hopefully it'll provide some good information for you in your podcast editing. So let's get going. Hey, welcome back to the Audacity Bootcamp. In this lesson, I want to have a conversation with you about converting stereo tracks to mono and mono to stereo. Those are some features within Audacity that can, at times, be a little confusing. And so let's talk about that in this lesson. Let me demonstrate for you how to convert a stereo track to a mono track and how to convert mono tracks into stereo tracks. I've got this uh, project open from several lectures ago, lecture 35. It's got the stereo music track on top and the audio introduction that I did there on the bottom. Of course, the music track is in stereo, left and right channels. The narr narration track is just a mono track that we used in that lecture. Now, let me show you how to convert a stereo track to mono. Let's say I didn't want that music track to be stereo, but instead I wanted it to be mono. When I convert that stereo track to mono, it combines the audio in both the left and right channels into one mono channel within that mono track. So any variations of the audio between left and right channel are mixed together into one new channel, one new mono track. In order to convert this to mono from stereo, I need to first of all select the track. Once I've selected the track, I can simply come up to the tracks drop down menu and select a mix and then mix stereo down to mono. And as soon as I do, that stereo track is going to be converted to mono. So let's try it. So now we've got one track that's representative of both left and right channels of the old track, but this track is a mono track. So let me put the cursor here at the beginning and let's play a little bit of it just to see what it sounds like. That sounds really good. There's no degradation of the audio. There's no distortion. I just simply have a mono track now as opposed to a stereo track. Being a mono track in voice, it's going to be a little bit easier to edit and to manipulate. And if I have a really long podcast episode, it's going to make a difference in the size of the file when I'm done. Now to convert a mono track to stereo is a little different process. If I select this mono track that's down below here and I come up to the edit drop down a menu, I can click on duplicate or I can use the keyboard shortcut Command D and in Windows I'm sure it's Control D. But since I'm here, I'm just going to click the mouse and I'm going to duplicate that bottom track that I've got selected. And once I duplicate it, I've got two different tracks, two different mono tracks with the same information in each track. The same starting point, end point, everything's synchronized together. It's just a complete duplication of whatever is in that track. In this instance, it's a really short piece of audio, but you can do it with an entire track if that's what you want to do. Now with both tracks selected, if I come up to the audio track drop-down window there where the name of the track is, since I've got both tracks selected, I can now choose Make Stereo Track. Without both tracks selected, that option would be grayed out. But now I can make a stereo track out of that one mono track. So let's click on that. And just like that, I've got one stereo track with left and right channels. Now, it just so happens that the information of both the left and right channels in this track is identical. But now that I've got it made into a stereo track, I can manipulate it. I can do different things to it that I might want to do as a stereo track. And Audacity treats it as a stereo track. In other words, if I make a selection in one of the left and right channels, it selects it in both the left and right channels. So Audacity does give you the capability of converting the stereo track to mono and mono tracks to stereo. So that's a look at converting stereo to mono and mono to stereo. I hope that it benefited you and I hope that it answered some of the questions 
and took a little bit of the mystery out of what that means. I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, I hope you found that information helpful to you as a podcast editor. If you like what's going on here, make sure that you subscribe and that you click that bell to be notified and tell your friends about the Audacity Bootcamp. I'll see you next time.